I am honored to join Joy and Calvin for something special on Live at 530. As you know, Latrice Curry has been out recovering at home during a medical emergency. And it was a privilege for me to be called to fill in for my good friend until she returns. But today, we are letting our viewers hear from Latrice for the first time in two months. I'm not sure I understand. Well, we're going to understand a lot here in a minute. Hi there, Latrice. How you doing? <laughs> Hello, guys. Good evening. And let me just say it is so good to call in and to talk to you guys and Calvin, Joy, thank you all for filling in. DC, hey. Hey, Tracy. And you know what? <laughs> and Calvin, what did I ask you earlier today in the newsroom? One of the questions you'd probably ask me would be Latrice. Why did you make me come out of retirement <laughs> back to work again? So let me say thank you for doing that. We are all so grateful, and I am as well. And for all of you all who have just kind of carry that extra load while I have been out and recovering. Seriously, guys, thank Just an you. absolute privilege, an absolute privilege. Thanks. So let us know how it's going, Therese. How's the recovery? The recovery, D.C., um, as you know, I actually saw you, uh, what was it, a couple of weeks ago. Two weeks ago. And um, so uh, it, it's going well. It's one of those things where, you know, I was telling someone, um, anyone who knows me, like it's like I'm, constantly go 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 and to kind of have to sit down to take a break and to just kind of take things slow and easy and realize my limitations i think uh that and reality kind of hits you so um but you know what i the bigger picture is that honestly guys i'm just truly as i've told i thank you all individually i'm just so grateful right now and so thankful um recovery is going well um, doing therapy um, just to continue to build up that strength and stamina because I'm sure I'll need it. I'm sure you all will have a lot for me to do when I come back to work. Now, do you see your so, desk there, um, Latrice? Can you see that? Oh, my God. <laughs> you know what? It's so funny. It's uh, like great. It's like as I try to, Calvin, it's like I know. Are, you're keeping it neat and clean. Thank you so very much. I know how you are. I know how and, you are, and, and I just want you to know that listen. everything. I almost ate your chocolate the other day. Of course, it's been that, there for okay. a while. Because so. it may not be good. Oh, and I see the picture, DC and I. Up. And let me tell you, Calvin, that's okay. And we won't tell anyone. But if you get cold, there is a heater under my desk. It's my little it. secret. <laughs> yes, okay. I might need so, it. Um, I might need to borrow it. <laughs> Joy wants to borrow so, it. She wants oh, to gosh, borrow it. Oh, gosh, and that's, uh, oh, my God, that's an old one. I saw a picture, like, uh, with Callie, uh, of course, and Cindy. And so, just so miss you guys. I've talked to all of you all, and uh, it truly really has. Oh, I know, yeah, David's book signing and the different things. But, guys, I just, I truly, truly uh, miss you all. And, uh, and I want to know, I know a lot of people are like, Oh my gosh, and, I, and honestly, I've heard so many things like, what happened to Latrice? Well, I will just say this, it was a medical emergency, and it was, um, as most people know, um, something that came up, I, I had not been on any medication, hadn't been sick, um, was what you called healthy, um, and um, had a blood clot. And so, and one of the things that I think that uh, if I can, say anything that's come out of this, and I think a lot of positive things have, is first of all, um, when I just go out in this community, and uh, I'll tell you guys, it just really just brings the biggest smile to my face and almost tears to my eyes as I look at some of these pictures that uh, you all are putting up right now. Um, but as so many people, when they talk about, I was out earlier today and uh, talked to a gentleman who said, Latrice, we've been praying for you, and all, and when you see, I think you all put a picture up of the cards, and um, seeing that, and it really is, and I think just the power of prayer is one of the things, and also, so many people have talked about, you know what, I'm taking care of myself, I'm going to my doctor, and one of the things I say to people is to listen to your body, even if you think, you know, I'm in perfect health, if something is awry, if something doesn't seem right, and, and I say this all the time, that's one of the things, and, and I have all these ideas that I told my news director, uh, Callie's been churning in my head when I get back to work on, but I think that, of course, that's one of the things that we have to keep getting across to people is to take time out for yourself, 
Don't miss those doctor's appointments. I know that as, as I tell people that all the time, I'm one that was bad about that sometimes because I'm like, oh, I have so many other things on my calendar to do. Um, and then it's like maybe if something happens that you think, oh, that's not really anything, I'm healthy. Well, you know what? Still, it's so important to make sure that you go to your doctor and you take care of yourself. So I think there's so many important lessons that have come out of this. And obviously, you know, it's no hiding that this is really serious. And what I can say is that I am just truly, truly grateful and thankful to be on the road to recovery and to getting well. And so I, I miss you guys all so much. And to our viewers, oh, my gosh, in the Tennessee Valley, I remember at the very beginning of this saying, gosh, I was like, you know, I knew there was a reason that I made this my home and stayed here. And I remember, D.C., I think I told you and Cindy in some conversations over the period of time that, you know, when we think about our jobs and what we do and how important it is and how our viewers are really our family. And I have felt that um, so much so in the past couple of months. And I have to just take a quick shout out to say to the ICU staff at Erlanger, to the doctors, to Dr. Maxwell, and to the doctors and staff and Siskin who treated me, um, we have some of the most excellent medical care in this community. And um, I just, I would totally uh, be remiss if I did not thank them for going above and beyond and, and treating and helping me. So I just like to, to everyone and to, and to my colleagues, my coworkers, and to the station and, and management there, um, you all have been over backwards. And, and and seriously, believe me, I, I know what it's like to have to work those extra shifts. And so I just really do, when I say thank you guys for pulling that extra load for me, I owe you all lunch or dinner. So I just want to say thank you so much. And again, to, to our viewers in this community, uh, thank you and I love you. Of you, Latrice. It's great to hear your voice. We can't wait to have you back in the oh, studio. Absolutely. absolutely. She doesn't know it, but she just gave all of us our therapy. Yeah. Truly. I feel That's so right. much better yeah. about her and how she's doing in her recovery and just so happy to hear from her. Love you, Latrice. Bye. And I know you folks at home have been looking forward to hearing her voice just as we have. And we'll soon see her back here in the stu studio. Yeah. Hopefully soon. All righty. Well, turning to weather now as we take a live look outside most of the day.